Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Ooh, girl, you're shining like a Fifth Avenue diamond. And they don't make you like they used to. You're never going out of style. Ooh, pretty baby. Today, I'm going to be doing my favorite products of 2017. So over 2017, we had a roller coaster of makeup products. Many came out, many were fails, many were great. And today, I'm gonna be showing you guys my favorites from every category, starting with primer and ending with lipstick. So if you guys enjoy this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And with that being said, let's get started. Oh! <laughs> So we're gonna start with primers. I have two to show you. I have like two from every category, for every category, so don't come for me. I'm giving you like mostly a drugstore and a high end, but some are just both drugstore, some are both high end. So the first section is primer, and my favorite was this e.l.f. Tone Adjusting Brightening Lavender Face Primer. This is $6 at Walmart or Target. I got this at tar Target. But it is so good. It smooths out your face. It cancels redness. Purple is for canceling redness, but you can get any of the shades. They have like green and yellow and all different stuff. And they also have clear if you just want clear. But that's what it looks like. I also have the Hydrating Face Primer, but I've only used that a couple times since I got it for Christmas. But I really, really, really like this. And my second favorite for primer is this Urban Decay Apple illusion complexion primer this is a way more expensive primer but I feel like they do exactly the same except this cancels redness so this just smooths in your skin it makes it look like you have no pores whatsoever I'll show you what it looks like on the back of my hand so this is the urban decay that's what that looks like this tiny little dot of the urban decay can do your whole face now moving on to foundation, I have two different ones and the first one I'm gonna show you is my favorite for the whole year. So this is my favorite for the whole year. This is the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I have two shades. I have the lightest shade, which is Nude Ivory, and then I have Soft Beige. Nude Ivory is too light for me, so I get Soft Beige and I mix them. So this is so good. I remember the day Tati Westbrook came out with a video that was like, world's cheapest foundation five dollars and i went out and bought this the day that she posted that video because i just wanted to try it so badly i love it so good it's such good quality and it's literally five dollars literally comes in a glass package it's full coverage it's cheap ready so on top of the primer i'm just gonna do a little bit i'm gonna show you guys it's just so good like they just covered my whole entire hand for that tiny bit. And a lot of people don't like the paddle applicator, but I love the paddle. I feel like it's so easy to apply, and this is just really good. But my next favorite I got at Christmas, and it was just so good. I've used it so many times since Christmas, and I love it. So it's still a favorite because I got it in December, but I don't, like, I haven't used it, like, throughout the months. But I've used it so many times since I got it. This is the... Um, Maybelline Fit Me Foundation. This, this is in the shade 112 Natural. And this is just the matte and poreless. I have really dry skin and this still works for me. It works so well. So I highly recommend any of these foundations. So now we're moving on to concealer. I had two favorites of concealer this year. One, they're both drugstore, but one you have to get online or in Sephora and one is at the drugstore. So the first one is this ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This you can either get online at ColourPop's website or in Sephora. It is $6, but ColourPop is offered at Sephora so it's a reasonably priced but it's so good it's so full coverage it's really 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 good and I got it when um Colourpop was having their free shipping because I didn't want to pay four dollars per shipping because then this would be a ten dollar concealer so it was six dollars look how easy it just covered everything it's full coverage mine is in the shade Fair Neutral 10, it goes all the way down to 5, so I probably could get a lighter shade, but I chose this one, so it's really, really good. I'm almost out, if you could see, like, on the side, it's running out. And then the next one is this Maybelline Fit Me, along with the foundation concealer. This is in the shade 15, Fair. Now we're going on to my favorite powder of 2017, and this is the Grimmel Stay Matte Powder. You can see this thing has been through a beating. Um, the container is broken. The product is shattered. This has gone through so much, and I continue to use it because it is so amazing. It sets your foundation, concealer, whatever, so well. It's such a finely milled powder. So next, we're gonna do my favorite bronzer slash contour of 2017. 
This is the Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette Contour. This is what it looks like. It's in the shade 749A Dolce de Leche. I just bought a new one of these if you saw my drugstore makeup haul. This is what it looks like. They have two different shades, and they're such universal shades. They work on a lot of people. I have really fair skin, and this is, I think, the darker of the two, and it works so good. So it comes with a highlighting powder. It's not shimmery. It's for, like, highlighting under your eyes and a bronzer, and it's so good, so creamy, so pigmented, and it's literally $4. I have been through this so much. The only thing is that the powders are so finely milled that they shatter. Like, if you travel with this, don't expect it to come back looking like this because it will shatter. I have bought three of these, as you can see, and every single time it is shattered. The first one, um, it shattered so much that all the brown is gone, and all that's left is the powder, this powder. The second one shattered so much that this is what it looks like. Yeah, I'm trying not to spill it everywhere, but that's what it looks like. That's how much it shattered. I went out and bought this one because that one shattered so bad to the point where I couldn't use it anymore. So now we're going to do my favorite blush. This is the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush. So now we have brows. I have everything for like every category in brows and I have high on end drugstores. So for the first thing, I have two favorite brow pencils. The first one is this Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. So what it looks like, this is in shade blonde. It comes with a spoolie, ah, spoolie. And the actual product is right over here. The brow definer is also really nice. I like both of them. I ran out of the brow definer, so I'm just showing you the brow Wiz. The next brow pencil is the e.l.f. brow pencil. It is so so pigmented. I just can't use it because it's not my shade. They don't have a blonde. The lightest shade that they have is neutral brown, which I'm so mad about because it is so good. So if you have dark hair, go buy this e.l.f. brow pencil, $2, and I honestly think it's better than the Anastasia. Throw in shade. <laughs> now for the brow pomades. I have the NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade in the shade Blonde. I didn't know NYX was carried at uh, Target, so when I lived in Florida, I bought this. It's just so pigmented it's hard to swatch a brow pomade but if that's even good i don't know it's just really good and then for brow gel my favorite is the elf clear brow gel it comes with a clear brow gel and a clear mascara i used both sides for my brows and i ran out so i need a new one so all of these are good what's next mascara 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 so if you know me i go through mascara like a crazy person and i couldn't find a really, 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 really good mascara because I go through it so fast that I wanted a really, really good drugstore one. And I finally came across it. This is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. I've literally gone through six of these. They are so amazing. I love them. The wand looks like this. It's like a curved brush so you can get in there. Next is the eyeshadow palette. This is by far probably my favorite product of 2017, which is crazy to be saying this, but this is the Modern Renaissance Palette by Anastasia. I got it December 9th. I got this December 9th. Got it the day of my moving away party. My friend Kimmy gave it to me. If you want to see my moving away party vlog, I did it in Vlogmas. It was day nine of Vlogmas, so go watch it. But she got me this palette. It is so good. Worth every $42, every penny that you spend on it. I love the packaging. I think it just feels really nice. But I don't like it because the shadows, anything that gets on here, it's really, really hard to remove because it is like velvet. And we have arrived at the lip category. So if you know me, I'm kind of a lip fiend. I love lip everything, even though my lips are tiny. They're so small. It's okay, though. I'm a lip fiend. I love everything lippies, so I have a lot of favorites. We're going to go through them very quick. We're going to start off with chapstick. This is the Carmex Chapstick Original Lip Balm. I have the stick. I have the little circle one. I have the squeezy one. I have all the flavors. I love Carmex. It's so good. It just moisturizes your lips so well. If you can see, I'm almost out of this, and I'm going to use my four others. Then I love this. Um, my parents got it at a concert. So I don't think you can get it anywhere. But this is the You'll Love Orange Vodka Chapstick. This is just an orange lip balm. Well, an orange like flavored lip balm. Now we are going to move on to a gloss. I have two glosses. This is my favorite gloss of 2017. This is the Burt's Bees 100. Oh no! 
This is the Burt's Bees 100% Natural Lip Shine. It's a gloss. It's just so good. It has a little bit of a pinky tone to it. It has shimmer. It's not sticky at all. It's not sticky. It feels so good. It moisturizes your lips. My second favorite lip gloss is not really a lip gloss, but this is the Too Faced Lip Injection Extreme Lip Gloss. You put this on your lips before you put on any product and it just makes your lips bigger. Like it burns slash tingles, but it makes your lips bigger. I'm going to put it on my hand and see if it does anything, but I wear this all the time because I want big lips, and this claims it's gonna give you lip injections. It doesn't last very long, but I just love it. Then I have four lipsticks. So the first one is this Revlon Color Stay lipstick in the shade 45 Supermodel. I wear this all the time. If I'm wearing a lipstick, it's probably this, just because it's such a natural pigmented like lipstick and I just love it then I have two NYX lipsticks these are the plush gel lipsticks they literally feel like chapstick but they give you color to your lips my friend Liv got me this for my moving away present she got me a pack of three but my favorite are the these two she got me the pack with the nude shades so this darker nude is in the shade nude beach and then this one is in the shade dime dime piece and then i have one more but this is what they look like they're just so good they feel like chapsticks but they're pigmented so i like them a lot and then the final lipstick is this this is actually from la colors my friend maddie she got a kit of la colors makeup for her birthday and she didn't want any of it so she gave it to me i was gonna do a video on it i filmed it it was a terrible quality video and i was not proud of it so i did not post it but this lipstick i've worn it twice since i did a video on it this is the LA Colors Matte Lipstick. That's literally all it says on the packaging. But this stuff is so good. It literally broke. Like it fell out of the tube. That's how like bad quality the packaging is. But the lipstick is so pretty. It's what I'm wearing today. It's matte. It's pretty much transfer proof. It's such a pretty lipstick. And it lasts through a lot. So that was my favorite products of 2017. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe down below and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys when I post my next video. I'm trying to post every single day, if not every other day, because I've just been so inspired to make videos. And I have literally three pre-filmed already that I'm posting like in a row. So be prepared for tons of videos. I love you guys so much and I'll probably see you tomorrow.